Superficially, America's major cities are richer than ever. More and more luxury apartments going up, many of them selling to foreigners. Many trendy restaurants, artisanal shops, hip professionals love big cities. But while our cities have become a playground for the wealthy and their children, things are not looking as good for everyone else. San Francisco, New York, other cities are losing middle class residents at a frightening clip. Poverty rates remain high. Homelessness, while declining nationwide, is hitting record levels in the big cities. If you've been to any of them, you know, 10 cities everywhere. Liberals dominate every major city. Is homelessness and the disappearance of the middle class connected to their economic policies and their social policies? Joel Kotkin is a contributing editor at City Journal. He's the author of The Human City, Urbanism for the Rest of Us. He's looked at this question carefully, he joins us tonight. Joel, thanks for coming on. That's my pleasure. So the most obvious manifestation of this thing that you've been writing about is homelessness, which has reached levels in some cities not seen since the Great Depression. It's really obvious. People don't talk about it for some reason. What's causing it? Well, I think there are a lot of reasons. Some of them have been here for a long time, mental illness, people right. being uh, uh, alcoholics, uh, drug addiction. Yes. But the new, the new spin, and, and by the way, you see this in all sorts of places, even as unlikely a place as in Orange County, California, is uh, the incredible increase in rents and um, uh, housing prices as well. But people are now spending in many places, particularly, let's say, here in Southern California, 40, 50 percent of their income is going to rent. And, you Crazy. know, if you're making, you know, $3,000 a month and your rent is 2500 uh, you can see why people end up being being uh, homeless. That's right. I mean, the economic structure of big cities, liberal big cities, is getting to almost Latin American levels of inequality, where a small number of people live in conspicuous opulence, and then you have poor people, and you don't have anybody in the middle. Is this a new thing? Well, I think we've we've always had some of that, but it's gotten much worse. You know, yes. America's big cities, I think about my own grandparents coming from Russia. They were really about opportunity, about making your life better. And and frankly, a lot of old liberal policies, and I still consider myself more, you know, somewhat out of that mold, were how do we create more housing? How do we create good middle class jobs? But that really isn't the interest of most city um uh, planners today or right. people who run cities. So what they really want is they want elite industries, they want high culture, they want uh, fancy buildings for foreigners, um, and they're really not particularly concerned about maintaining a middle class. And remember, a middle class is not always going to go along the lines that, let's say, a, uh, a progressive politician might want to go. Uh, in the current circumstance. I just, I have been to San Francisco and Los Angeles and Washington and New York all within the space of the last 10 days. And each of those cities has tent cities within it of thousands of people living outside. And yet the city councils of all four of those cities seem very focused on things like global warming, for example. <laughs> I, I don't understand why a city could have thousands of people living outside on the street and not address it and not make it priority number one. Well, I think they're going to try to address it, but 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 it's certainly, I think the more important, in a sense, underlying issue, is we're not creating good middle class jobs yeah. for people. Um, in the case, state of California, where I live, uh, our climate change policies are chasing out industry that actually gave people uh, a decent way of making a living. I mean, frankly, as a, if you may say, an, as an old progressive, I don't understand where the new progressives are not at all interested in helping working class families be uh, be self supporting they may be in favor of subsidies they may be in favor of artificial keeping wages artificially high with high minimum wages but are they really interested in people advancing doing better right. in some cases maybe they don't because you know people who do better uh, emit more um, greenhouse gases so they they hate them and it's it's obvious uh, and it's really sad joel thank you for coming on tonight my my pleasure